Hello everyone, welcome to another uh, cooking class. So for today, we will be making one of my favorite dish, which is a Middle Eastern dish, uh, I should say. But for this one, uh, we will be needing rice, of course, any type of rice that you have. But I personally prefer the long grain rice if you have the basmati and we need some ground beef and green peas here and then to be able to cook this one you will be needing oil any oil you have any vegetable oil you have that works perfect and i'll be adding some butter also so when i cook this one it will be equal portion if you add two tablespoons two tablespoons of butter also and for the flavor, we will need, of course, we will not miss the salt and pepper in every dish. Not Maybe not every dish, but most likely it's either one of these you will need. So, and we will be using some cinnamon also. This is optional because some, uh, they don't add this one, but uh, me, I add little cinnamon and we call this one the Arabic five spices. And last one for this dish, we will be needing one small size of onions. And later on, to be able, once we are done with this one, this one usually we eat it with the side, just like the yogurt, uh, cucumber yogurt meat. So the, I will show you later how to make the one. And for the toppings, so we will be fry this one uh, until it's turned. Uh, light brown so we will be using almond this one uh, but some they prefer some pine nuts or cashew nuts if they'll have those at home but if you don't have that's work that's uh, really okay no problem with that so let's start cooking so for the rice as you can see that I'm cooking it differently uh, it's not in the rice cooker I prefer cooking it on the pot so first we put some oil and butter on it and then once it is heated medium heat uh, we will add uh, some butter also so we will fry the rice in there with the oil and butter for a few minutes and then we'll take it out and then uh, we boil the water and by the time we will add the rice that's one big spoon, another one. Let's mm -hmm. put some of the oil here where we would pull right towards the nuts. And then later on, the ground and the green piece of cake. It's time for the rice to get in to join the pot. Gonna fry the rice uh, a little bit more. Uh, once you notice that it's all coated with the oil and butter, then that's the time that we have to take it and put it in the strainer again and just add water and boil it and put the rice. In. Okay, the rice is okay now. We have to put it back on the strainer. Okay, we'll put it back here. And now let's put water in the pan. So for this rice is uh, a equal serving, so equal. A measurement of two cups of rice and two cups of water too. And while we are waiting for the water to boil, let's start uh, cooking the almond nuts. So then after that, we can use the same pan for uh, cooking the ground beef and the green beans. Some 
paper towels for this one. To put the plastic cook. So we'll start to absorb some of the extra oil. Put this one here. While we're doing that, let's cut the onions, which we'll be needing for the ground beef. We have to cut it real small. They reach their golden brown, the kind of color that we want, so we can turn this on. And our water is boiled. Now we will add a little salt in it. Made a tip. And just like you're using a chicken stock for this one, we're going to put one chicken bouillon right here. And we'll just add it in oil and water. So it's boiling. Now we will add the rice into the pot. Over it with its lid. So we'll wait until cooked through, and then while waiting for the one, we can start cooking our ground beef and the green peas. Okay, let's uh, now we'll start cooking the meat and the green peas. Our meat is done, so it's time for our beautiful green peas to dive into the pot. We give it a good stir for all the details uh, until it's totally incorporated the green peas and the meat. Now we season it. We have a for this one, so we we'll put salt. So it's about half teaspoon of salt and uh, black pepper. You can always add according to how you want it to uh, taste like. Now, same as the cinnamon. Our five spots. Let's mix 
use it and we'll see. When this is done, let's turn off the stove and we will mix it this time with our rice. And let it simmer for a few minutes and it's completely done. We'll let it simmer for five more minutes and then we we'll turn it off and it's ready to serve. We're back so we will do the plating now because our rice with ground beef and fish is done. So it's, it's basic time. all the smoke you can see I, I wish you can see it but I see it as they you can see it reveals the, the smell of the food okay, we'll put this in one side and then I kept this one for this reason just to put little bit on top when you serve it And add the toasted almond made earlier. Okay, it's good to be now. Let's taste it. Okay, the moment that we're waiting for. The smile on my face that means it's good perfect in all the seasoning we need yes i wish you can taste it so that's for our cooking class for today they call it ruspasalia in arabic and simply means rice ground beef and with this rice pilaf and the recipe will we're sending with you on our delivery this coming Monday. So if you would like to try it at home, the ingredients are simple. It's all detailed in the recipe that we will send to you guys. So if you want to try it and if you like the page for the cookie class, give it a big thumbs up and a big like. And don't forget to subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. So until next time for the next cookie class, we can't wait to share to you more recipes. Thank you very much for joining us. Bye-bye.